they arrived last night so let's go back to last night and have a look at the room upon arrival and then we'll start to have a look around the hotel on the subject. Hello, welcome to room C433, it's that C433, at the Sandos Papagaya Resort in Lanzarote. We're in Playa Blanca, we're on a package holiday with Jet2 Holidays. I'll give you all the lowdown and the information about prices etc tomorrow. This is just a very quick bit of film because we've been travelling for what seems like all day. And what we really need to do is go and get a drink. So I'm just giving you the first view of the room as it looked to us upon arrival. Um, I'll go back to the front door, which didn't shut itself, and just quickly go through what we've got. So you've got a mirror for checking yourself out, and some sweeties, which is nice. Some woody stuff. Doesn't need watering. And then we've got this bedroom area, which is really modern and stylish. It's, it's a bit like a Novotel in some respects, but better, I would say. A bit cruise shippy as well, but ultra modern. Now, there's no aircon on at the minute, and that's hopefully uh, me not being able to work it, and I'll hopefully sort that out. But uh, look at the size of that bed. It's literally two three-quarter beds together. So brilliant, it's like a proper American sized bed. Oh here's the aircon. So aircon's currently off. And now it's on. And we can hear it, so that's good. So you've got a, an LG flat screen TV, a couple of bottles of water, tea and coffee making facilities, and a nice desk area just there. You've got full length mirror and a complimentary bottle. I don't know how you pronounce this, I always call it the wrong name probably. Fr Frank's Night, Freak's Net, Frank's Net. Please somebody tell me in comments how you pronounce that phonetically. Uh, that's complimentary and that's nice. We've got these wristbands which says that we are uh, ultra, du ultra super duper special and I forgot really what that means but I'll tell you tomorrow a bit more about it. Nice big sofa which looks like it pulls out into a bed settee. You've got plug socket on that side of the bed and plug socket and telephone on that side of the bed. There are two uh, dressing gowns and slippers and a couple of uh, beach towels underneath, or pool towels. Down here we've got a minibar and what's in the minibar we can use, but apparently, this is what we've read on TripAdvisor, it doesn't get restocked but we can use that and it doesn't cost anything. So that's nice. It's a huge hotel and I'm, and I'm going to spend quite a long time going around and filming the different areas. So this side of the wardrobe comes with extra bedding and coat hangers and luggage storage area. Sorry about the camera not focusing. I've complained about this before. Sony FDR AX53. I'm not impressed with it as a camcorder, I must say. But in terms of photographs, they're absolutely stunning. So if you want a camcorder that takes really good pictures, then this is it. If you want a camcorder that's a really good camcorder, this isn't. So the safe is free to use, but you've got to pay a 20 euro deposit for a key to activate it. Uh, the key goes on the inside and you turn it a quarter and that activates the electrics for the safe. Um, and then when you hand your key back at the end of the week you get your 20 euros back. This is free for Royal Elite members. I'm not sure if it's different if you're not Royal Elite. Okay, 
I'm going to come back in tomorrow again, like I said, and talk, talk you more through it all and the holiday and the prices and everything. This is just like first impressions. Have a quick look in the bathroom. So the bathroom is white and bright and very modern also and comes with a network data point. Strange. So, what do we get in the bathroom? Well, first of all, I'm just going to shut that door so we get the full effect in here. So look how white and clean and shiny everything is. So there's a couple of towels there, a couple of hooks and a nice little bath set. Now little touches like that are just lovely. Just as lovely is the fact that by the bath, which I don't like instantly, I hate baths, but my wife doesn't. But look at that, you've got candles and matches as well, so she can soak in the tub with candles on, that's nice. Now from my practicality perspective, uh, there's a little bit of a step up and over just there, just underneath height for me. Uh, there's not really grab rails as such, you can lean forward and hold on to that, and I suspect that people use this also for that purpose to study themselves getting in because it is a little bit slippy on the bottom it's got some lumps and bumps but they're not going to be particularly non-slip and then we've got the shower over the bath and so there's two options for the shower see my fingers then it was like alien <laughs> right so there's two options for the shower there's the rainfall shower and there's the handheld one and you've got gel and shampoo there and there's your controls Got two sinks, isn't hers? And an assortment of toiletries. Again, all sorts of things just there. Really nice. We've got the toilet, which has been disinfected out. And then the wall there, so the corridor is behind that wall. The corridor to the outside of the uh, room. And this is, is a really lovely sort of light fixture behind the wall just to sort of soften the lighting so it's not completely harsh in here um, which is nice and then we have the all important freshener the b-day and a bin just as an extra touch the floor throughout is laminate and it's done to a very high spec as well it's done really well um, i've seen some dodgy laminate floors in hotels in my time and this looks pretty good What's in this massive drawer? Nothing. But it's a massive drawer. Anyway. Oh, hello. Goodbye. I'm off now for a drink um, and I'll be back tomorrow with an update. But before I do go, of course, we have the all important hair dryer for those people who wish to preen their bouffants. Good night. Hasta mañana. It's a pretty nice view, isn't it? So this is the balcony view, and that is Fuerteventura over there. So we're right on the coast. There are people in the sea. We've got a pretty nice balcony. So at the Sandos Papagaya Resort here in Playa Blanca in Lanzarote. We've paid £890 each, all inclusive with Jet 2 holidays. That gets us this Royal Elite Plus. And that was return flights from Leeds, as well as airport transfers and 22 kilos luggage included in that. Um, we've got access to some uh, exclusive areas with this, apparently. I need to find out exactly what. Um, but we've got all inclusive food and drinks. It's a big resort, plenty of swimming pools. So let's have an explore.
the lift is an Arona. Arona. Says it holds six people. I think it kind of does. So when you check into the Sandos Papagaya Beach Resort, um, you do so here in this building. This is the round building and this is like the central hub and atrium. From that, there are various wings coming off it. Now all this along the front, A, B, C and D, this is all accommodation. E, G and H up there is also all accommodation. Now I'm in C and we're on the fourth floor up, so one, two, three, four, somewhere in the middle of that, and we've got a great sea view from here, as I've already shown you. So the reception is here, as I've mentioned, and then down this wing just here um, are bars and restaurants, and then there's the exclusive uh, outside area for Royal Elite members at the end just there. You can also see the beach. This is Papagayo Beach and Playa Blanca is in that direction over there to the left as you're looking at this and then there's the swimming pools in the middle so it's kind of like an upside down uh, hotel you enter at the top and you work your way down to your rooms if you're in any of these buildings down here uh, but not for those just there so E, G and H, pool views, A, B, C, D, C views you can probably see the C as well from these so the hotel has got lots of shops and a doctor and things like that um, in this main building. And as well as that, uh, it's also got five restaurants, including a poolside snack bar. Five bars, including two Royal Elite bars. Five swimming pools, including an adult pool and a pool that's heated in winter. So the hotel is about 14 years old and I asked at reception how many bedrooms it has and there are 488 bedrooms and the hotel holds up to 1,200 guests when it's at capacity. At the minute I would say it's about two-thirds full. The majority of people that are here are either British or Spanish and then there's a few Dutch, a couple of Americans, a couple of Germans, but majoritively British and Spanish people that are here. Anyway, we're going to have a now look at some of the bars and some of the pools and some of the restaurants. So let's have a look.
So there are snacks available in the Royal Hilly Lounge. Holland snacks, this tea and coffee.
Do I see a little silhouette of a spy? My love, no! So we leave the hotel today and this is a courtesy room that we've got the use of for half an hour and it's exactly the same as the room that we've got pretty much. It's an H building though and the view is a bit different. Have a look at that. So this is a balcony from H building. It's quite a nice view actually. You've got the pool and the sea.